Hey beauties, I hope that you all have been doing well. I want to first start by saying that I apologize for not posting in about two weeks. I have been trying to record quite a few videos so that way I can kind of be in the hole when I post. So what I was doing before was recording videos and trying to get them up within the same week or like within the same day. And that was just very difficult. So now I have quite a few videos recorded and I am editing them and I'm going to have them kind of already uploaded. That way they can just post on their own and I can have a better schedule. So I'm working. It's just, you know, this stuff is hard to figure out, especially when you have a very busy schedule. But I think I finally have it figured out. I have about four videos that I have pre-recorded and I am working on editing them now. I'm going to go ahead and get them uploaded to YouTube and just set them on a schedule so everything could be uploaded on time. So now any videos that I record will always be... Um, Basically, I'll always be ahead of schedule at this point, about two weeks ahead. And I'm going to work on trying to get even further ahead. That way, you know, I can make sure that I'm always on schedule for you guys. And that schedule is every Tuesday and Friday at 12 p.m. So I'm really working hard trying to make sure that I can keep up with that schedule. All right, y'all. So I spent the first little bit of the video rambling like no other but I just had to let y'all know what was going on with me and my posting schedule. But let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. I am going to show you guys the quickest and easiest way to accomplish those type of highlights. So y'all already know I'm working with Lux Virgin Hair, of course. Um, this is my loose wave texture, my Brazilian loose wave texture. And as you guys can see, it is absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't know if I would recommend doing this exact method if you don't use 100% virgin hair just because of how long I let the bleach sit and I don't want y'all's hair getting fried. So if you guys do want to, you know, go this light of highlights, I would say make sure the hair you're getting is 100% virgin hair. You can either order from me um, with Anna Lux virgin hair or I recommend Kendra's Boutique as an alternative. So I showed you guys what bleach and developer I'm using and now I'm just mixing it up and I didn't really have exact measurements but you want it to be the same consistency as a can of cream or mushroom. So kind of thick not too runny. So if you've ever done highlights, you know that you kind of do this weaving motion. So instead of undoing the entire bundle, you just keep it in the bundle and you do that exact same motion like so. And y'all, I forgot to mention this, but doing it while the hair is wet, especially if you have a curly or a wavy textured hair, is easiest. Um, don't ask me why, it just is. So that's why I'm doing it while it's wet. And now I have my first section, so I am going to repeat that same step until I get the amount of hair that I want to have the lightest color in my highlights. And y'all, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want some type of consistency so that it doesn't look super blotchy or, you know, too colored in one area. So you do want to make sure you are doing this weaving motion and not just grabbing huge chunks of hair. So I got the amount that I wanted out for the first bundle. So now I'm moving on to the second bundle. And as you guys can see, I am just keeping this weaving motion consistent moving the first section out of the way and I'm just going to repeat that weaving motion on a second layer. Now that I have enough hair, I'm going to move this section out of the way. And right now I'm just going to show you guys what it should look like. Um, it should be a zigzag motion throughout the bundle. And if you see that, then you know you have done this step properly. So now I'm just making sure that the bleach is the consistency that I need it to be. 
And honestly, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I just kind of started slapping it on there. I did it this way because I needed to be done in a certain time frame. And this was just the easiest and quickest way to do it. Um, so I'm just kind of slapping it on there. And then I'm going to open it up and make sure I'm getting each strand of hair. And at the very end, I'll just take it all the way up to the roots. So you guys can watch me do that. And another thing, you guys want to make sure that you are working quickly. Um, don't get too messy, but just make sure you're working quickly, especially if you're working with um, a 40 volume developer. And because that's what I was using, that's why I was trying to move so quickly. But if you use a lower developer, like a 10 volume or 20, you can kind of work a little more slowly. But because I'm working with a 40, I'm working pretty fast. Now I'm just working my way back up to the root after the hair is fully saturated. And I'm working my way back up to the root because I'm trying to make sure I get rid of any lines of demarcation. Okay, so this bundle is completely done. So now I'm just gonna move on to the next one. I didn't really show the entire process with that one cause you know, I didn't want to show unnecessary footage. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible for you guys. Um, and so now I am just covering it in foil. And again, guys, I'm going to put emphasis on this. You want to make sure that you're using 100% virgin hair when you are doing this. If you decide to go this light, because I actually let this bleach sit for three and a half hours. Sounds crazy, but yes, three and a half hours. And as you guys can see, it lifted very, very well um in some spots all the way to 613 so um but you don't want to fry your hair if it isn't virgin hair um and that's the reason why i didn't fry because again it is virgin hair so now what i'm doing is weaving out some more hair i'm doing the exact same method that i did the first time except this time i'm going more so for the 1b hair rather than the blonde if i do get some blonde in there that's okay but I am trying to do a light brown color. Um, and so I am just com I'm just doing the exact same step that I did for the first step. And for these sections, I am going to still use 40 volume developer, but I am not going to leave it on for nearly as long. And again, guys, when you're done, you want to check for that zigzag motion in the bundle. And if you see that, then you have done it correctly. And so now I'm on the second bundle and I fast forward it just a little bit, you know, again, just to save you guys some time, not trying to waste anybody's time, just trying to. Help you guys through this process as quickly as I can. Um, so now that I have those sections picked out, I'm going to slap it on there again. And for this time, I'm only going to leave it on for about 20 to 25 minutes. And y'all remember, you always want to go inside of the hair. Don't just do the top and the bottom and think that it's saturated all the way through because then you will have a hot mess on your hands. So always make sure that you are opening up that hair and making sure you're getting every single strand. And guys, right here, I'm doing something that I 100% advise against, which is using my bare hands to touch this bleach. Um, 
but I didn't have gloves at the time and I was trying to work very quickly. But all I'm doing is just making sure that each strand is saturated. So y'all, I let it sit for about 25 minutes and here is the color that I was looking for. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse. And y'all look at this color combo. It is so, so, so pretty. And now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the bundle open. Y'all, literally this thing is so, so, so pretty. Like whenever I do colors like this, I always want it for myself. So I'm probably gonna end up making a wig like this for myself very, very soon. And who would have ever known that highlights were this easy to do? Y'all, I could have ended the video here, but I wanted to just show you guys what it looked like on the wig. And when I installed it, um, straightened it, curled it, you know, all of that. So this was after a good shampoo, deep condition, and blow dry. And this is after I straightened the hair. And keep in mind that this is my loose wave texture, so it's really full and pretty. Um, I did use a little bit of a 16 inch bundle that my mom already had installed previously. Um, it was on a Lux hair as well. So this wig was made with the two 18 inch bundles that are featured in this video and then about half of a 16 inch. And here's where I curled it with a 1.5 inch barrel curling iron. And as you guys can see, it is so pretty and so much body. And that is the look we were going for. And y'all, here is the finished look. This was after I have curled it, trimmed it, gave it some layers, some nice body curls, the whole nine. And just to give you guys some full details on this wig, um, it was the two 18 inch bundles that were used in this video half of a 16 inch bundle that was previously used and a couple of sew-ins that she had um and then a 16 inch five by five closure but i cut the closure in half so she didn't have a whole bunch of lace to deal with and we just wanted her part to look as natural as possible we really wanted it to look like leave out as you guys can see that part is looking really natural it is looking like leave out and my mom really loves her hair and right here, she's just trying to be the perfect hair model. And she just loved it. And y'all, this is just so beautiful. The sunlight is hitting it perfectly. You can see all the layers and all the highlights. It is just so, so pretty, y'all. And guys, we have reached the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please turn on your post notifications because you don't want to miss any of the videos that I have coming up for you guys. And y'all let me know down in the comments if this video helped you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video.